Hello YouTube. Um, this is gonna be kind of a remake of what I did um, day before yesterday. I started my video and freaking didn't realize. I guess the settings or the volume wasn't up on the phone, so I had really crappy audio. And uh, I'm using a little shitty ass phone, so it's gonna be kind of a remake introduction video and then I the videos I, I'm gonna post after this it came out better so this would be the replacement of the beginning of the other videos but started off my name is Robert Keen I'm doing my first video for a YouTube channel and this is going to be pretty much basically I work on vehicles, I work on all my own vehicles, I've had tons of vehicles, I've traded and I get run down vehicles, I fix them up, I trade them off, I get tired of them, buy cash vehicles and pretty much fix them up, flip them, but right now I drive a 99 Dodge Durango, I drive a 99 Yukon Denali and I have a blue Chevy Tahoe all got reasons and projects and I got a couple another vehicle out back go around discussing it all and doing my introduction and start my YouTube channel um I got business cards I just got in the mail and started the, uh, a pressure washer company from nothing I'm gathering equipment I just got my business license um, I'm still gathering other equipment but I just got my business cards in the mail today so I'm pretty excited um, uh, I don't remember exactly all I covered in the first video and then the other videos so I'm pretty much do a basic and fill you in what I missed on the messed up video. So, I live here in Dade City, Florida. I'm uh, 35 or 36. Uh, yeah, 36 years old this year. And um, I worked in a rent factory around town. Uh, pretty much out of work right now and we'll discuss that funny scenario so this is uh, pretty much going to be an entertaining video about my life and all kinds of stuff I do for work side jobs and I take care of my two kids I got a nine-year-old son just turned nine on June 26th um, then my two-year-old daughter, she's should be three in September twenty-first. No. Yeah, September. My wife is October. I've been married to her for three years now. Four years. <laughs> Funny. Um, uh, but yeah, it's gonna be. I'm working on my truck right now. I work on all my own vehicles. You'll, you'll pretty much get the goods and the bads and here's and don'ts and do's and I work on all my friends' vehicles. I work on my family's vehicles and pretty much the family mechanic, neighborhood mechanic. All my friends, they break down. I we replaced it a clutch in a 90s model uh, Ford Ranger the other day for my friend. He was talking about he needed to get to work in the morning, so his clutch went out in his truck. And I went over there, spent all night underneath the truck, taking the transmission out, placing the clutch in it. And then uh, be able to drive the truck for him in the morning so he can go to work. And he was grateful. He has two kids, three kids. And um, his wife does a lot of help for us, and you know, it's for friends do for friends. 
Um, uh, I think I mentioned this in my second or third video I did just the other day. Uh, and um, if I see anybody riding on the road and I see they got a hood popped up, I love stopping and helping people that don't know how to fix their vehicles when they break down. You know, people are stranded, people got kids. Freaking, my wife was at work one day and she called me up, told me a lady and her kid was at the gas pump broken down. The star went out just like that. Boom. I pushed the truck out of the road. It's a um, nine, early 90s model um, Jeep Drain Cherokee with a 5.2 uh, 318 motor. Same as mine. My Durango. They had the same motors in this, and so, but um, you know, I pushed her vehicle out of the gas pump area to the side of the parking lot. I towed her home. Um, I fixed, I changed the trans, the the starter, and um, I did it all for free. The dad gave me a couple bucks for gas, and that was afterwards after I was ready to leave and. I wasn't expecting it, I didn't ask it, I wasn't going to consider it, I did need gas, so, you know, I, I love helping people, I love doing mechanics, and I do it for part time, when I can, when I have to, I would love to do it professionally, I'm not certified, but I wish I went to school for it, I wish I could now, but, I'm, you know, not no young person no more, and I don't have much time. I got work, take care of kids, and love to find the time for going to school. I'm trying to correct my schedule right now because a lot of the mechanics and stuff I do, I do at night when I have the chance when it's cool outside because if you ain't in Florida, you don't know. I'm underneath the canopy right now, and I'm burning. But I got to get back underneath here and swap out my my tires we'll go through that whole situation the last couple of days i got pictures and other stories but it's going to be my introduction it's going to be an adventure so stick around please I got some funny shit to show you and y'all going to think i'm kind of retarded most of the time but retardedness is funny so, enjoy the humor, and we're going to walk around, look at my poor old little truck. Now, I just replaced the lower ball joint, upper ball joint, tie rod in, inner and outer, and the CV axle on this drive, uh, pass side. And I took it out for a test drive to see how it all... Uh, if it was all tight and everything good, see if it was uh, running better, then I get a 45 mile an hour wobble. I'm gonna take care of any truck and show you that little fun project. I gotta, I gotta, hold on, see how to flip this camera around. Nope. Alright. I don't know if you can see, I can't look at my phone, but paint it around. You'll see like a, little knot in that tire right there yep it's a bad one and there's another one on the other side way over there so yeah I'm getting a bad wobble so I gotta take the tire off the back of my truck take the tire off my other truck put a temporary tire on that one and already got a had to replace another tire on that side last week so this truck here I gotta change the transmission sensor in it 4060 so I uh, take tires off of that truck for now I gotta go to the store and get some transmission fluid but I gotta get this truck running Get the wheels moving correctly. So I'm take the tire off of that truck tonight. Put it on this truck. Run up to the store. 
get some transmission fluid and hopefully work on that truck I really need to work on my wife's truck there's another problem with that we'll go through and make a video but yeah I'll make videos of me working on vehicles and it's gonna be my started up videoing now to clarify I'm not smart <laughs> by a long shot but I know shit I like doing shit. I like showing people how to do stuff they don't know how to do. A lot of people don't know how to work on vehicles, and I've been doing it since I was 11 years old. I had an uncle that had a stepson, and I used to ride my bicycle all the way across town just to go work on this dude's vehicle, 11 years old. Freaking, I've been playing with vehicles ever since. And it might not be business right now but all I can do is work and progress and try to work in one job and try to make money trying to do what I can and y'all I got paper of the last job I was at early I worked at a rim factory that I was powder cutting rims for a little over a year and then I went to work one day and they handed us all a piece of paper and said go home you're on unemployment no, no warning, no benefits, nothing. And so, but I got in a rough spot with my kids and babysitters and nobody does nothing for free anymore. So, by me, <laughs> but uh, it's all work. It's all what needs to be done. But let's go over here and I'm swap out this tire real quick. I got the tire off, off the ground. So I'm gonna lower this jack and then be able to put it on the jack stand and be able to take my jack over to my blue truck and be able to get the 20 inch off of that truck. And it's gonna be funny because this truck ain't had fucking stock wheels since I've had it. I bought it like this and we'll get into that adventure in a minute. Or eventually. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm using a little crappy ass phone, a little Android. But, you know, I don't want this video to be killer long. And my other ones aren't too short either. But, and, uh, I'm gonna start reaching out to other YouTubers I admire and try and figure out this internet and shit. And, Instagram. I just opened Instagram the other day and never done it before. So I gotta figure out how to look at that app. I think I've been on it twice. And um see what how to message people and how to DM people and see if it's like Facebook or what. And um be able to get advice on how to do YouTube and how to do social media and how to air my channel so people can watch it, be entertained, hopefully learn something, and um, see how not to do shit and better ways to do stuff and learn from my mistakes I'll make because, oh, I'm not perfect. And try to make a better day out of whatever bad day they're having. And I love feedback. I love um, advice. I love even negative hate. I take that in. I see what I need to do to change that negativeness. And I, uh, I try to progress to something better. Always. It's always about doing the next thing better. Or the same thing next time better. But, I, yeah, and I, I smoke cigarettes. I hate it. Uh, I've been trying to quit for years, but life and struggles and choices. Everything's revolved around choices. But it's going to start being 
a better day. I gotta tell my kids, make each day better than yesterday. Do something that's gonna make tomorrow even easier. Alright. I'm gonna get back to swapping this tire out and come back to you. I'm gonna figure out how to post these videos and how to do YouTube. Uh, I, anybody can contact me and tell me how to like edit videos with pictures in them so I can figure out how to upload these awesome pictures to show you of other jobs I do and and um, other fun times I've had and start doing YouTube and I don't know um, I've made one video and that was to make fun of myself I guess <laughs> see if I can find a link to that video I was trying to win a, a, a speaker or an amp from uh, Twisted Child 420 awesome bass head dude um, and he was having a competition and I don't know how all these audios come out so I sound like a real freaking dumbass but I posted it and didn't uh, review the video before I posted it because I thought it would be alright but learning 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 and um, it's going to be everyday learning. I'm going to start doing this as much as possible. Start putting up videos every day and start entertaining and uh, start explaining my truck builds. And I'll go over that in a minute. I want to get this done. This is Florida. We have 50-50 chance of you're going to get your butt wet. So, and it already started raining a minute ago. That's why I waited a minute to start the video again. But uh, I'm going to try to get this knocked out real quick. And be able to sit down and fill you in and on the life of me. And my Instagram. I'm going to try to find how to put the link on here. And uh, any questions, any uh, anything I can... Uh, help entertain anything I can review I love big trucks and I love working on shit and making my kids happy and having fun hopefully I get to do YouTube and get to go out and meet other YouTubers that I really uh, enjoy watching I sit around like if I wasn't doing this video right now I'll be watching my YouTube subscribers uh, videos uh tall car tall guy car review uh family cruising all kinds of videos auto vlog and uh what is that pt uh really really funny dude uh he drives a corvette now rt production i think it was i'll have to look that up but I'm not the smartest person, but I'm a real person. And it's gonna be a real life. Hello YouTube. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna start this. It might seem like I'm a fucking retard. But I anybody who does YouTube knows how it is to do the first video. This is my first video. So Hopefully I don't get too much, uh, hey, that guy's a retard comment, because, uh, yeah, you're going to be right. I'm a hell of a retard, but I have some, uh, interesting funny shit that happens day to day, day to day, day to day. So I'm going to start videoing it and making my own YouTube channel. I have a couple vehicles I do projects on. I do my own custom uh, installs, systems, I do my own mechanics work, and no, I'm not no mechanic, I'm not certified, I wish, maybe I could make some damn money, but I'm going to start doing, I guess it's, uh,
commonly known as Day in the Life of, and you're going to learn about me and learn ways to do stuff, ways not to do stuff. Take my stupidity as your uh, treasure box and do stuff hmm, backwards as I do, I guess, if I get it wrong. But usually I get vehicles fixed and I get them back on the road and I've been doing it for a few years now. I'm neighbor over here mowing the yard. I wish I could. Y'all see in a minute. I got some pictures of my broken ass lawnmower. Cause uh, y'all gonna learn this town I live in, Dade City, Florida. It's pretty fucking shitty. And uh, there ain't much work here. And y'all learn more about different circumstances of my conditions of uh, that aspect. And uh, yeah. by the way, my name is Robert King. Y'all will uh, see it on the video because that's my real name there. And it's going to be real life. I'm waiting on my buddy Albert to show up and go to work for him. My son's birthday was uh, June 26th. And we postponed his birthday party until the middle of this week, today's um, July 8th, today's a very uh, interesting day for me actually, uh, y'all learn more about the different events that came up to why this day is crazy, uh, my dad uh, wrecked his motorcycle eight, uh, five years ago on July 8th, and um, it was crazy. I was at my buddy's house, found out, tell you about it more, probably this video, next video, but um, this is going to be my introduction, so I'm uh, be doing YouTube channels for my vehicle, my wife's vehicle, um, I work on hundreds of vehicles I did a brake job I mean a clutch job for my uh, my buddy um, Eric and his girlfriend Wilma I uh, replaced a clutch in a 90's late my 90's model uh, Ford Ranger and luckily that went smooth all nighter up until 5 o'clock in the morning so I do whatever whenever however I get done try to help anybody who needs to be helped by seeing anybody struggling, stranded, anything. I've been working on vehicles since I was she, 11 years old, I think it was. My uh, uncle Melvin had a stepson that had a vehicle that and he said I can bullshit with him on. I've been doing playing with cars ever since. I've had my own vehicles and I've always done my own work. I've, buy my vehicles cash and fix them up and trade them off, sell them, upgrade, progress, try to do what I do, and uh, um, tell you about my past, my life, what y'all want to know, so as they say, leave in the comments of questions and just enjoy the activities and entertainment. Cause this shit's gonna be real entertainment. Freaking, like I said, this shitty ass town is something crazy. Ain't much jobs, ain't much to do. Shitload of banks, shitload of nonsense in town. They close down businesses like crazy. Ain't shit to do. Ain't nowhere for the kids to be, except in the streets and doing stupid shit. And there ain't even a movie theater in this town. You gotta go to the next town. There's driving. Uh, can't always go to driving. And there ain't nothing to do. There ain't no real big activities. I was working at a ring factory about a little over a year ago. And, uh, 
I got paper in the house. It's kind of funny to show you. I'll try to dig the paper up and try to put in a little picture and I'll put it on video. But that'll be a whole big story too. I got pictures from when I worked at this room factory. The rims I used to powder coat day to day. We used to do like two, three hundred rims a day. And it was great work. I loved it. We should pay eight fifty an hour. And that's basic pay around here. So you ain't making shit in this town. You gotta hustle and struggle and fucking do without. And that place about a little over a year ago, that place uh Oh, my neighbor coming over. Hello, YouTube, back again for another continuance of this video. All right, so the situation, my second ago, my neighbor over there, over there. He uh, he was out cutting his lawn, like I said a minute ago. And uh, he rolled up and asked me about my little, my pets in my little yard needed a little bit of maintenance. I'll post a picture of what it looked like before, if I can figure out how to post on YouTube. So, like I said, this is going to be an adventure. So, like I said, um, I do a lot of mechanic works. I'm a Pretty much family mechanic. I work on all my family's vehicles when they need it, when I can assist, when i not dealing with my own drama in my own life. And sorry for the ones that hate me for not always being there. I know y'all do. Okay? Y'all can't understand. Bad, don't start I'm trying to quit. Saying that for a little while though so every day is a struggle anybody who knows knows all right so this is my little brother's uh little chevy blazer he was um apparently letting his friends and family drive it so, yeah, look how that propped up there. Pretty nice. You didn't say AC condenser. Huh? AC dryer. AC system. Little freaking fucking lady in the cap wants to be a big ass. Kind of stuck. But, yeah, I'm no certified mechanic, but I know some shit. I know how to get some shit done. And usually the shit I do. Tends to work sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, yeah, once or twice here and there. Get some of those jobs that aren't fixable. But I like being able to do mechanics and I like being able to help people on. See, pain this, huh? So, my brother is leaking water. So we're going to find out where this water leak is in his little Chevy Blazer. Now, while I'm doing this, I guess I'll explain myself and kill some time. So, pretty much, you're seeing what you're getting. It's... Freaking... Fun day, fun day. All right, water's full. Draining back down. But uh, I'm waiting on my buddy Albert to show up. I do a lot of work for this guy. He's crazy. <laughs> He's old. He's awesome, incredible. It's one of those people you wish you would have grown up around. And uh, he's kind of a hoarder. Awesome dude. Really bad hoarder. Understatement. Y'all find out in a minute. Hopefully I go up to his house. I'm going to do some work around his house. 
make some money for my son's birthday party coming up here in a couple days. Like I said, his birthday was a couple days, uh, June 26th. So his birthday party is going to be a little bit delayed, but it's going to be incredible. I got plans, uh, movie projector, uh, sleepover, my son's gnawing. And yeah, his name is Aiden King. He's incredible. My daughter, I got a two year old daughter. Freaking struggles with uh with uh mommy issues. She's a mommy's girl when mommy's around but or when mommy's not around, she gets to be a daddy girl. Or when I'm out here working on these cars, I got some incredible pictures to show you of my daughter working on my vehicles. Learning. Teaching. Alright, where are we losing water at? In the water? Is he in the water? Let's see if I can turn this camera around. Now, like I said, y'all, I don't know nothing about these phones, really. How to do this. How to edit. How to... Do this and that. I'm not really tech um, specialty. And yeah, y'all gonna know it's my mouth from time to time. Yeah, I got it really stupid with uh, not maintaining my uh, teeth when I was growing up. No, I've never done drugs like that. And I'll probably get hate comments about look like a meth head, look like a crackhead. But, uh, no, I've never smoked crack. I smoke other stuff here and there, but a little bit of medical. That's it. But in this line of work, anybody who does mechanics and stuff, whether it's side jobs or certified uh, shops and stuff, you're, you're going to get back pains. You're going to get muscle cramps and really... Uh, takes a toll on you so it's really a medical uh, pain reliever and I only do it y'all find out so if y'all don't like it then sorry don't watch it but it's, it's life it's medical has been bringing it up there but we'll talk about that and Give me your hate comments, give me your like comments. It is what it is. <clears throat> but, um, my first priority is taking care of my kids and doing what I gotta do and pay the bills and keep life moving, progressing, doing something better, doing something different, trying to make other people happy, trying to make other people out of a Help them out of messed up situations. Everybody's got problems. Everybody needs help. One way or another. There's always some way to help somebody. Whether they need help work, working on a vehicle. Which I love doing. I love being able to help people. Anybody who's standing on the side of the road. If I see a hood pop. I'm stopping. Whether it's a brake job. I've done brakes in parking lots. Because people... Funny story, I'll see if I can get the video from a camera footage and um, from a store, a gas station, uh, Circle K, and uh, freaking pulled up, dude was splashing water on his brakes, on his uh, rear drums, little Chevy S10 ZR2, uh, freaking dude was splashing water on his rear drums, he said it was smoking. I was like, dude, that's the wrong thing to do. Stop doing that. Let's break cool down. Let's shit. It wasn't on fire. He said it was. But it wasn't when I got there. But I pulled the brakes apart. He had very bad brakes. Very stuck together. Very, you can see the squirts on the brake pads. So it was very bad condition. But I did his brakes. I changed his brakes. kid didn't know how to change his brakes. 19 year old, 20 year old kid. Didn't know how to change his brakes, so I helped him in the parking lot. I've actually worked on this vehicle. Uh, a friend of mine owned it. My little brother's ex-girlfriend 
I'll maybe eventually meet her. But uh, she brought this vehicle down from New Hampshire, South somewhere, and it needed bad uh, rotors and uh, wheel bearings and hub. Well, yeah, on this vehicle would be a hub assembly, it's four wheel drive. So y'all get the idea. Uh, I help people that need to be helped, and that's what this YouTube's going to be about. I'm starting my own business, press washing, something throw in there just to get business. That's my buddy Albert. Y'all meet him. Let me uh, pause this video, I guess, and go say hi to him. He's pulling in right now. So, crazy, crazy, crazy life. Try to do something that's getting what you want done. Now, like I told you, this dude Albert is pretty cool. He has a bunch of shit on his property. I'm already here. He just picked me up. So, time to start getting to work. Doing stuff around here. Getting his yard cleaned up. He has all kinds of stuff. Take me decades. A little glimpse. Freaking. I mowed all that yard back there yesterday. So, that's pretty much what I do. Freaking. I'm trying to progress my own business. I just started a press washing company, uh, I, uh, licensed, I got my LLC, pretty much just ground up, working on getting this and that, and progressing to better equipment, progressing to better jobs, and pretty much basically go from day to day, start videoing, figure out how to do this videoing. I don't know how to do Instagram. I don't know how to do this and that. I'm going to learn. And it's going to make a great and interesting day in the life of getting this done. Trying to make shit happen. Show y'all how to maybe make shit happen too for those who are in the same position. But my phone's almost dead. And I got shit to do, so I'll uh, hopefully come back when I charge my phone. Hello, back to the last part. Um, got the business cards, we got in the mail. Uh, getting my yard cleaned up. I can't really paint this sucker around, but pick up the tarp, pick up the tools, put the jack up. Uh, rain's about to hit for the 15th time in the last 10 seconds. So, um, show you these business cards. My hands are a little dirty from still working on the truck. It's got really basic. A lot of people knows me as my truck, so I got a picture of my truck. A little family business. I got American flags because she I love America. And I like having the owner. A little press washer. A little so you know what it is. Yeah. My little phone number. 352-807-1755. Press wash anything. I want to do some writing up here on part put on. I was thinking about uh, American made family raised or something but on the back of it I'll put on uh, little jobs I do houses pools RVs uh, driveways stuff like that I'll put on go out to like trailer parks and uh, the VFW hall and offer um, veteran service discounts um, love the vets I wish I could have been one but that was that was a story from back when I was in high school. So, uh, I'm going to be passing these around as soon as I get some hand writing on them. But, uh, yeah, just sitting by the old truck, just finished up, putting the tire back on. And then, uh, going to put tools up, got to run to the store, check out the truck, make sure. Riding a little bit better. A little bit's always 
more happier. So, y'all have a good day. Thanks to my buddy Gary. Help me get this uh, business cards going. And uh, it looked like I got a little chicken barbecue. And uh, I just got a buddy, message from my buddy. Then uh, I'm going to be doing more of the truck every day. Do more of me starting this press washing and all the other stuff I do. I'm going to try to reach out to uh, a couple of YouTubers here and when I post this video. See if I can get some uh, feedback on how to make uh, the channel better with the edit and how to be able to tag people. I've never done that. So, I've never uh, been on a computer really much I'm always outside doing stuff and work on cars I wish I'd started YouTube years ago man but it's going to be a fun nice little truck driving by but and it's nice living right here next to a little road right over there my little brother's car uh, the motor yeah it's done I started out with the belt off of it, took the serpentine belt off, the bottom end of it is rattling, it blew um, a rod bearing, so it's going to be towed out of here, might have it sold for scrap, but keep you all updated, post videos more frequently, and start doing some interesting stuff, I'll start talking about the builds I have. I in my Yukon and they'll build my wife's truck. It's gonna be pink and black camo, and then uh, my truck's gonna be something incredible, different. Um, I got my speakers. I got the box. Trying to do a little something different, but that'll be next video, I guess. I'm gonna kill video time. But neighbor pulling in. Alright, see y'all.